How's it going on, guys? Supreme Taco here, and I have another uh, tutorial, I guess. Yeah, tutorial with OBS. Now, this has to do with OBS. I could not figure it out for Skype, sadly, so after I'm done here, you can look it up for Skype. But I am going to show you guys how you can use your DSLR camera, which is any Nikon or Canon camera. Camera? Those, you know, those like, it could be fancy ones. I am using in this tutorial the Nikon D3200 as the camera I'll be using in this tutorial. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use that type of camera as your webcam for like your live streams. Or if you choose to record with OBS then here you go you can record with using this webcam. So it's an, it's it's pretty good because see how crappy my webcam is at the moment. This is the pre this is the camera that comes pre with the laptop. So going to work with what you got and so now I have the DSLR camera which this is actually my dad's but I'm using it lets me use it for sometimes so I'm gonna show you guys how to hook it up and so how you can use it in your OBS streams or recordings because it's nice and HD a lot better than this so we're gonna go ahead and move over here you what you want to do is you want to go ahead and install the digicam control see right here now again links are always in the description below so I'll leave a link down below you go there and you want to make sure you go to downloads and you click the latest beta it might say you click that you download it and you install it and once you install it you get something like this so once you get here there should be no issues this is like the that was like the hardest part just installing it now what you want to do is you want to take your DSLR camera Whoa. all right so now we're back sorry I kind of messed up for a moment so, what you want to do is you want to plug in the USB cable that comes with your camera. So, once you got it here, you want to make sure it's plugged in the USB port and it's plugged into your camera. And then what you want to do is you want to turn it on. Yep, see? Little camera icon pops up. And so now I, see how it tells, my, tells me my battery. And this is actually also good for taking pictures without actually looking at the camera. So. I can have the camera position like right here and then I can take the picture straight from here now after you're done after you turn it on make sure you want to hit the live button and let's give it a moment live view and see we have this webcam right here hello and then we got this one right here hi mr. Sanders sorry I was trying to see it but yeah so this is a live view so I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to this side so we can continue on with the tutorial. All right, now we're going to OBS. See, this is what happens when you um, when you turn off your camera while it's using the live view. It just freezes on um, whatever you look like last time you see it. So we're gonna go ahead and edit this scene. You want to go to properties. And then you want to go to window capture. Well, actually, you don't. Sorry, you don't go to properties. But you want to do is you want to go to add, and then you want to add window capture. Make sure it's the live view. Okay. See now it's cropped, but here let's just remove this. Yes. Add. No. Okay. Does that? So we're gonna go ahead and go to window capture. DSLR web cam, as I like to call it. Live view. Okay. All right, and so you now we're getting the live view window that we just saw a couple minutes ago. So then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down Alt. And then we're just going to hold down the ends right here. Alt is to crop it. All right, and see now we just all right, and so now we can just minimize it, and now look look at that, we're ready to stream. 
So I, I guess that was that was pretty good. Um, it's nice HD. So now let's go ahead and move over to OBS and let's see how it is with how it mixes with the gaming, how HD works. So go ahead and cut it here, and we'll see you on the other side. Well, alrighty, guys. I'm here on Minecraft. See, I'm running Minecraft right now, and I got the HD DSLR webcam running as well during the recording. Now, like I said, I could not figure this out for Skype, and also I could not figure this out for any regular recording software. So, like, for me, Camtasia, cannot figure out how to use it on there. So, I'm going to use OBS whenever I use this webcam. See, yeah, look, I'm running Minecraft. I'm clearly destroying stuff right now. Go build me a dirt house. Because I'm Joe Dirt. Boom. House of the Year goes to. No doors? No doors. No piggy. Piggy. No. Let's get out of here. Well, alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for the DSLR camera. Now, I just have one thing to say on the screen popping up right now. Should be pictures on how to do the capture function on the live. If you go to the live view, like you're supposed to, as far as getting it on OBS, just click the capture button and it'll take the picture right there and then. So if you have it on auto, it's gonna flash in your face unexpectedly if someone hits capture. So you can change your settings. And so, like, right now I can take a picture, but I'm not going to because I tried earlier and it was not working. So, I had to redo the whole of recording as far as OBS. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's just a picture on showing you where exactly it is. And so, if you guys want to try that out, go ahead. I know one thing I was thinking about doing is, like, doing, like, a whole group. One thing you could do is a whole group photo. And then if you have it, like, like let's say you're taking it. This is, like, a situation that kind of relates to me. Let's say you're all on the couch. You, have a, you want to take a family photo. You get everyone in the frame, but no, there's no one there to take the picture. You use this. You hook up the laptop to the TV screen, and you hit capture. As someone secretly with the mouse hit capture, and it's like bam. So yeah, the, hopefully the picture helps you out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Hope it was helpful enough. And this is actually gotta say one of my best and one of my most fun, funnest or whatever, whatever however you say it. All uh, the tutorials that I've ever done out of all the tutorials I've done. So don't forget to slap a like. That would be awesome. Comment. Hit that big old red subscribe button down below. Cannot miss it. It looks sort of like the YouTube symbol. Except it's big, long, and it says subscribe in it. And, yeah. um, I sh have a quick announcement just to say that. I'm actually starting to get more into my photography. Because I do, like, small photography. Like, I do, like, aerial like all throughout my cruise I like to take pictures of just the sky and like the view from different places and uh, one of my few um like pictures with people in it was this one right here popping up on the screen and that's actually Nason who is also Nanu his channel will be linked down below that's actually him in the picture right there along along with that, my baby cousin Dominic who's not really baby he's, he's actually kind of grown he's like three He's, he's, he's pretty tough though so I, he, he's grown but yeah that's, that's pretty much all I gotta say so you might be seeing some stuff on you, there actually is something on Twitter you guys can check out I posted a few of my good shots from uh, the cruise some of, my, some of my good shots not all of them M most of my arrow shots are actually pretty good I, I would say but uh, yeah so don't forget to do all that stuff check it out you might see some slideshows on my channel 
and on Twitter as well. So, hope you guys had a good time watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.